Glad to have you here in this preseason matchup between the Broncos and the Patriots. The Patriots are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one, Chris. What is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field. This should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. The centerpiece of this offense is running back Ray Rice out of Rutgers, who can break off a big run from anywhere on the field. Yeah, he's not a big guy, Gus, but you're absolutely right. He's fast and he's surprisingly strong. Not only can he run away from defenders, he can break a tackle or two as well. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. As we introduce the key players on defense, we look no further than Dominican Sue out of Nebraska. How do you do? He's a dominant force on the D-line. Yeah, Gus, this guy, for such a young player, is as polished as you are. He has the instincts out there of a 10-year pro, and players like him that can come in and dominate the defensive line so soon in their career, well, you know, they're really once-in-a-generation type players. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. Fourth down. The Broncos ready to punt this one away. Fields the punt at the 19-yard line. The stop was made by number 57. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. Haynes hands it off. And as we look at the key offensive players, Hakeem Nix out of North Carolina is the go-to deep threat. And that's important. When we talk about a balanced attack all the time, and if you can't stretch the field, you're in danger of becoming extremely one-dimensional. Hakeem Nix is an exciting player that gives the offense that home run threat. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. It's third down now and just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Will Witherspoon was there to bring him down. Passes it over the middle of the field. He's brought down around the 43-yard line by Dixon. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. It's a loose ball. He picks it up. So an early mistake, and they'll look to rebound on their next possession. And we'll have a first down and 10. Dumps it out right. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line by Bird. It's first and 10. Ball is on the 15. Probably a good decision to throw it away. He was in danger of getting sacked, but he did the smart thing and threw the ball away. And Gus, that awareness is something he's really known for. When trouble's coming, he has the good sense to get rid of it and take the loss of down rather than the loss of yards on a sack. And really, over the course of a game, this helps keep them out of a lot of second and third and long situations. Not to mention, keeps them from taking unnecessary shots as well. Offense will line up this one at the 12.
Rice takes the give. Breaks one and scores. That was some great running there. Knew exactly where to go, which hold a hit, when to make his move, turned it on. Just a very natural runner. And the point after is good. Denver up seven points. Graham is just about ready to kick this one away. Shipley is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it back to the 25. Reed was there for the stop. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Has a man open in the middle. And the tackle was made by Michael Griffin. I always find it surprising that tight ends typically don't get drafted very high. But when you think about the skill set, they have to be able to block like a tackle and catch like a wide receiver. He's dropped down right around the 46-yard line by Washington. And two yards away here on second down. Hand off. Big opening up the middle. After one quarter of play, the score is the Broncos, seven. The Patriots, nothing. They'll keep it on the ground again. The stop was made by Will Witherspoon. So they'll face a second and ten. Throws middle of the field. The pass falls incomplete. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw, any time, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Has a seam down the middle. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. And it's in the end zone for a touchback. And they already have the lead. This field position could set them up to put even more points on the board. Rice, the ball carry. Lawrence Timmons was there to bring him down. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. Lawrence Timmons was there for the stop. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Looks right throws and the tackle was made by Lawrence Timmons I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary fumble the offense grabs a loose ball the defense makes a great hit forces the fumble but you know the coach will tell him that he has to hang on to the ball. You got it, Gus. No coach wants to see his player ever fumble. And to be honest, the quickest way to get knocked out of the NFL is to keep giving up the football. You simply cannot do it. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. He's looking towards the left side. Lawrence Timmons was there to bring him down. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he